subscribe to our channel and clicking on the red button. And on the bell to activate all notifications and don't miss any of our programs and research about music. Join us on a daily journey through the exciting and amazing history of the Rolling Stones, a musical journey that spans over 60 years and continues. On June 16, 1990, the Rolling Stone did a concert at the Bison Calderon Stadium in Madrid Kingdom of Spain as part of their Steel Wilson and Jungle Tour, before an audience of about 60,000 people. When the firecrackers exploded and Start Me Up sounded, that was enough of thesis that the bridge group was not able to repeat until the end of the concert, almost two and a half hours later. The Stone's music is simple and elemental. Its inspiration in Blackroot seeks emotion for the utmost simplicity, and sophistication is conspicuous by its absence. It is in this musical austerity that the greatness of the British group resides in its failure, according to some critics, in its inability to fuse this musical elementality with a show based on grandeur. The magnificent songs composed by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards do not need superfluous embellishments and for some critics the stage is 72 meters long by 25 meters height. May they be the 10 musicians they have as a companies contribute much. Because it takes about a seven day period to set up the stage, to play one concert and to tear it down, but we're only taking one day or two days off in between shows, we have to have three stages, three different sets of steel. When we play here in Madrid... Except for the color and quality provided by keyboardist Chuck Leavell and saxophonist Bobby Keys, nor the dolls and inflatable dogs that flank the stage in some songs, nor the elevators to hoist Jagger up to sing in this particular rock manhart. Many Rolling Stone songs are exceptional and have fully entered popular culture and stand on their own. The Stones move in this duality, austerity in words and spectacularity outwards. The first is represented by the artistic introversion of Richard's what? and one then. The second, by Jagger and the Montage. And if there was a winner in Madrid was Jagger with his spectacularity and the staking, which buried the music, smoothed over his emotion and left the public without knowing which card to choose. At one in the morning the scale lit up with a fireworks display while many commented on the 1982 concert on the same stage. Eight years later, for many fans, it has not been the same. Although, to the credit of the wrestle, there were things to long for in the future. The solo interpretation of two songs by Keith Richards and his improvisation and sympathy for the devil. The good work as a guitarist for Roundwood. The calm sense of Charlie Watts and Bill Woman. The confidence and charisma of Mick Jagger and also the respect and the homage of an audience that came and quietly tested some of the best songs of the last three decades, showing that they are with the Stones. We are waiting for you tomorrow on this same channel, in a new chapter of Traveling in Time with the Rolling Stones. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and share to continue uploading interesting content to the Machine Music Grand channel.